Hi everyone, it's Sally from the Friendly Food Club and today we're going to be making fruit kebabs and rice pudding. Delicious. So if you haven't washed your hands, please go and do so and let's go cooking. First of all, we're going to make the rice pudding. So we need to put the oven on, gas mark 3 or 160 degrees. The next thing we're going to do is going to take a really big pan and we're going to put two litres of whole milk into the pan and heat it up gently. Now you want to use whole milk for this recipe because you want the rice pudding to be nice and creamy so it's much better than skimmed. Once your milk is heating up, you then really easy, you just add 150 grams of short grain or pudding rice. You don't want to use long grain rice or basmati rice for this recipe. You want the short grained, thicker rice. And then you put 100 grams of caster sugar and a couple of big tablespoons of butter and you just let everything mix together until it starts to come up and simmer and bubble and then you need to let it do that for about 10 minutes. Now that it's simmered for 10 minutes, you want to very, very carefully take the pan off the heat and pour it really carefully into an oven-proof large dish. Now, you might need an adult to help you to do this just because it's very, very hot liquid. Once you've got your rice pudding in the oven proof dish, you want to take your nutmeg and a grater and using the finest part of the grater, you want to grate nutmeg all over the top, probably half a nutmeg all over the top of your dish. The smell will be amazing. Um, I don't know if anyone knows where nutmegs come from. They come from the Spice Islands and in Indonesia and they are the seed in a tree um, that grows to about 20 metres and they are dried in the sun for about six weeks and then they turn into these little things and it's best to buy them whole because once you grate them the, the smell that comes with them and the intensity of the flavour um, is fantastic. Anyway, get your nutmeg on the top and then pop the dish very carefully, you might need an adult to help you to do this, into the oven for at least an hour and a half. Have a look at it after an hour and a half. Um, it might need, need another half an hour, but let's check it in an hour and a half. Now we're going to make some fruit kebabs. And the first thing you need to do is you need to put the skewers, the wooden skewers, in some water to soak for probably about half an hour. And we're going to do that because we don't want, when we put them onto the grill, we don't want them to, to burn. The next thing we're going to do is going to chop whatever fruit you have. I've got um, bananas, apples, you could use pears, I've got nectarines or peaches or pineapple, whatever you like. We're going to chop it into chunks, about three centimetres in size, all the same size. the chunks onto the skewers and we're going to put them under the grill, we're going to drizzle a bit of honey on top and put them under the grill and cook them for about five minutes. Okay guys, so here we go, we've got our rice pudding and our fruit kebabs. Delicious, it smells amazing, the nutmeg smells wonderful. Um, enjoy making your rice pudding and your kebabs and please, please post your photos of your cooking on our Facebook page. Um, until next time, happy cooking.